Just a rainy Monday, sitting at our table. Two cups and an empty chair. You'll be gone till Sunday. Everything's unstable. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am so excited because I personally wanted to do some kind of lifestyle glow up challenge before 2024 and I decided why not share it with you guys because I love sharing my journey and everything else with you guys. So I just wanted to do something that made me feel like if my life was put together before 2024, I'm not the type of person who likes to wait until the actual 2024, the actual new year to feel like I have my things together, I have my life in a gear, I know know what is up. I just wanted to feel like that from before so I could go into the new year feeling that sense of purpose and feeling like if I know what I'm doing with my life and I have some things in order. So this lifestyle glow up challenge is honestly so easy and it's just for 21 days. You guys don't worry, I have the printables. Every single thing is free down below that you can download so you can either like print it out and do the challenge for 21 days and check off everything or you can do it on your iPad as well. So basically this 21 day lifestyle glow up challenge for 2024 has to do with doing nine habits every single day for 21 days. All of these habits were to reset your routine so that you as a person could be all glowed up. The best part is Almost everything on this list is only 10 minutes. That is the bare minimum that we're asking for. And it is for yourself. So why not carve out that time to focus on yourself? And I categorize these nine habits into mind, body, and soul so that you have something to do for each part of your well being, which I think is really, really good instead of just focusing it on one thing or one aspect of your life, if that makes sense. I chose the 21 days since this is the last few weeks of the year and I just wanted us to make sure it is manageable because that is a huge part of having challenges is making sure it is manageable so you want to get it done and it is actually feasible to get it done. So I left a line extra in case you personally wanted to do something for yourself and a habit that you wanted to do for the next 21 days so you can go ahead and fill that in and if you want to share it as well you can comment down below so we can all have an idea in case that might be something we want to add to our routines as well. So I didn't want it to go all the way into December into like the holidays and stuff where it might be harder to focus on these things but again this is really easy you guys and we all can do it we all can get it done so first up is getting a workout in a workout could be something as simple as taking a walk or doing a 10 minute stretch from YouTube or just getting your body moving for at least 10 minutes this is a great habit to start off especially if you've been slacking off on working out I have been doing that for sure and that is a great way to ease that workout back in so that by the time the new year rolls around I'm ready to start back my bigger you know lengthier workout so keep in mind that the minimum is only 10 minutes if you don't have time to do it or if you think you don't have time to do it just catch yourself the next time that you're scrolling for more than 10 minutes and you could have been doing a workout in that space of time so you can do it like 10 minutes in the morning or 10 minutes in the evening a minimum that's it you don't have to do more than this I think that this is definitely manageable we can do this together you guys so again you can just check that off every day for 21 days using the habit tracker principle that I have linked down below next up is to have a salad every day or a fruit for the next 21 days I think that this is very manageable as well because I did include having a fruit if you can't have a salad because having a fruit is probably so much easier you can definitely go to the grocery get some things done I actually did do a little grocery haul so that I can be prepared for this and I got some arugula and some rose mean lettuce, some tomatoes, lemons, and just little salad items to keep me motivated. You don't have to have like a huge salad. This is more about getting your greens in, getting some vegetables in. And if you can't do that, definitely grab a fruit instead. So you can for sure meal prep before you begin. Again, this is not any kind of crazy meal prep. This is really simple having a salad or a fruit for the next 21 days. Again, I think this is a great way to start resetting your diet and resetting your body and nourishing your body in prep for the new year so when it rolls around you kind of have that wanting to eat well and start the year being intentional with what you put into your body. Next up under this category is skincare. I want us to have a morning and nighttime routine skincare where we actually like take time no matter how little it may be, even five minutes to actually take care of our skin and have a routine where we cleanse, tone, moisturize, 
or you want to do gua sha or a jade roller or something like that do ice rolling under your eyes or if you want to do a skincare mask or something that you would not ordinarily fit in to do with your skincare we need to reset our skincare routine put aside that time in the morning and evening to really take care of our skin sometimes in the morning we might be rushing or in the evening we might be too tired to just do that but this is something that you can do in at least 10 minutes again all of these are little 10 minute habits that you can really really do to get your life together and glow it up moving on to the next category which is mind which i'm really excited for because this is something that we often neglect and first on my list is a 10 minute tidy i want us to get into the habit of doing a 10 minute tidy at the end of each day whether it is cleaning out our purses putting away the dishes cleaning down the kitchen counters tidying the living room or the bathroom space just 10 minutes set your phone and get that 10 minutes done because it is going to make you feel really good the next day when you wake up and you have some sense of peace in your space and it looks good and you come home to an amazing space as well and everything is not clutter filled. You might ask why is this under the category of mind and it more comes from that phrase peace of mind and that is because our mind tends to reflect our space when it comes to creating that really lovely space at home and not feeling all overwhelmed because there's so much clutter around you or the space is just untidy and messy so I thought this will be really nice to include on our list of routines which I am just getting really excited to start doing every time I talk about it I'm like so ready and waiting to get this challenge done next up on my list is to read every single day for the next 21 days so I'm leaving this up to you if you want to do like 10 minutes like how almost everything on this list so far was 10 minutes you can either do that you can read a chapter a day or you can just cozy up and read for however long you feel to read for I like this because reading is just so much fun and it's something that we often forget to do. I think that this is a great way to get away from that scrolling on your phone and a great way to engage your mind, which is what this section of the challenge is all about. Now, speaking about scrolling, this is where we're going to do a digital detox. Now, hear me out. If you take 10 minutes to do a 10 minute tidy, 10 minutes for a workout, do your skincare routine, you already have about 30 minutes of a digital detox instead of just scrolling on your phone. How amazing is that? You can use this challenge to do other things so that you can check off digital detox by the end of it. And you wouldn't even have to make it seem as if it's a chore because it's definitely not a chore. You can fill that in by getting everything else done on your list which I think is amazing because we definitely need time away from our phones and to reconnect with ourselves, stay grounded, learn new things and not just be like mindlessly scrolling all day on social media or any time that we have a break. You know, we can do something different and you will be amazed at how much things you can do in the same time that you take or I should say in the same time that you waste scrolling. Onto the last category, which is for your soul. So we did mind, body, and now we're on soul. And the first up is gratitude journaling. This is an amazing practice that you can do daily for the next 21 days. If I sound like a broken record, you guys, I'm just stressing how easy of a challenge this is that we can all collectively do but anyway gratitude journaling is a great way to keep in mind your blessings and all the amazing things that you have in life I always say that so many little wrong things go on throughout the day or even a week and we just tend to hop and focus on that which is horrible and toxic for our mental health and instead we're going to redirect our thoughts and our feelings emotions everything like that towards the things that we have in our life that we probably take for granted and that are in fact blessings and it's time that we just start reflecting on that every day and making it into a practice that we could cultivate into a daily practice for the new year. Next up is do something creative and this is again getting away and moving away from constantly just scrolling and wasting time and wasting our lives instead of doing something that is fun and creative and engaging and makes us think. Something fun is building a puzzle. This is something that I really want to do. The last time I built a puzzle was probably like years ago, maybe more than 10 years and it's my goal to get a really cute puzzle and build it maybe like a 500 piece or a 300 piece. We start in small and manageable but I think that is really cool. It allows the time to fly past Past us and we are just so engaged and hooked which I think is really a fun idea another puzzle type thing that you can do is word search which is my guilty pleasure so much so that I created my own word search book you guys if you've been watching my channel you are so familiar with this but it is the all things girly word search it is filled with a hundred puzzles with all these girly themes like self-care Taylor Swift I love Taylor Swift I'm such a Swifty countries of the world to travel morning and night routines you guys that is in the word search book and it is so much fun it's only like seven dollars and you can get it 
on Amazon. I will have it linked down below. I love doing this so much because it just, again, distracts me from like my everyday life and everything that is going on and gives me something to look forward to. Something else that I think will be fun is baking cookies and actually learning how to decorate them using like free YouTube videos. I actually bought icing recently, icing recently, so I could try doing little icing on my sugar cookies that I'll be making soon. You can also do coloring if you're not into painting, if you want something less messy, or you could do something really crafty. And there's so many craft projects that are online that you could try and do. And I think this is so much fun. I can't wait to do something every day for the next 21 days that is fun like that. And you could just do 10 minutes, which is like the bare minimum. Or you can even lose track of time while you're doing it, which is like the best feeling ever. <laughs> And last up is to meditate or listen to some sort of affirmations on YouTube. Again, this is like my free place to get everything that I need. So I definitely think you can just type in some things and maybe do like 10 minute positive affirmations or a 10 minute gentle meditation or something like that. It doesn't have to be anything so crazy and so out of the world. You can just have 10 minutes moments to yourself reflecting or just reciting affirmations or something like that. I like this idea so much because I have so much anxious thoughts in my mind all the time. I feel like if I'm always thinking and going over things in my head and I really think that doing this 10 minute meditation or 10 minute affirmation every day for the next 21 days can kind of soothe my mind and kind of like help me just redirect my thoughts or not just be in my mind so much and you know maybe focus on something else and really just have a moment of quiet so I can probably link a few of my favorite down below so you can go ahead and check those out so that is the end of my 21 day lifestyle glow up challenge before 2024 we're not waiting until the new year to feel as if we got our life together. Don't forget that the printable is down below. You can download it and print it or you can use it on your iPad and just check it out there as well. Thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos like these, don't forget to also subscribe so you won't miss anything fun that I have planned coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.